One of the reasons why coronavirus cases are doubling in the state every few days is the availability of testing. Channel 11's Aaron Martin found out why it took so long for testing to be widely implemented. When it comes to getting information about COVID-19, that usually comes from the Allegheny County Health Department, whether it's confirmed cases or positive tests. But one thing they don't do is actually test themselves. That's done through the state, private labs, or even local hospitals. But tonight, 11 Investigates has found out getting to the point where the tests that are needed are actually getting done has taken quite a while, something that is finally getting where experts believe it needs to be. My wife woke up and was completely out of breath. She couldn't breathe. She couldn't talk, barely could walk. Brian Stapula's wife was tested for COVID-19 last week and is still waiting on the results. Testing capabilities have ramped up statewide, but it's come after weeks of delays. The more that we can have tests and we can give people an accurate picture of where we are, I hope the people take it very, very seriously. Problems with the initial tests themselves sent out by the CDC last month helped cause those delays. For weeks, only people who came in direct contact with a person who tested positive or travel to a hot spot could be tested. In late February and early March, 11 investigates found the Pennsylvania Department of Health was only testing around 25 people per day for COVID-19 through its state lab. On March 6th, that increased to 150 tests per day statewide. On March 17th, just 13 days ago, UPMC developed and began testing for COVID-19. As of Thursday, they've administered more than 1,700 tests in western and central Pennsylvania. On March 18th, AHN also began drive through testing at three Allegheny County locations. By that point, schools statewide were closed and non-life sustaining businesses would soon follow. Well, I think when the numbers are low, um, because we haven't tested, we think, oh, this isn't a problem. This isn't a problem in my community. Duquesne University's Dean of Nursing, Mary Ellen Glasgow, began her career working on the AIDS epidemic. Like COVID-19, she says testing was crucial in understanding and containing it. How critical is it to have that testing capability at the level it's at now compared to what it was at three weeks ago? It's absolutely critical. Um, we have to be able to identify patients who might be sick really as soon um, as they might be infectious, they might be contagious. Gavin Harris is an infectious disease physician with UPMC. He says they're expecting a surge in COVID-19 patients in the coming weeks, although that surge hasn't come yet. We've had a tremendous luxury of time, and I think that's really helped in our efforts to, uh, to combat this. Now, a spokesman of the Pennsylvania Health Department says there's actually no way of tracking at this point exactly how many tests are being given across the state. However, they still are giving daily updates on the number of confirmed cases, numbers that continue to grow. Reporting tonight downtown, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.